Sports. It's in the game. Say children, that line was brilliant. How I'm not already in the millions. Am I not the picture of resilience? Why they test my patience? Hyping all this lame. No one got a brain, they just be liking all the same. This is what the I'm in on in the street games. I'm convinced that nobody is speaking my language. I'm a good ass, so listen close when I say this. After every, 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 every feel stainless. I can make a thing go, go. Everything I wrote gon' smoke so dangerous. I can make an Einstein. Feel brainless, but look on the bright side, hope yield changes. I'ma get it started, please give me a pardon, cause this the type of beat that get the whole crowd marching. Time to shut it down, we made the whole town spartan. I'm from out of space, so all my homegirls marching. It's about to get critical, this moment is pivotal. Here to feed the streets that say my influence umbilical. We gon' make it grimy, they gon' get behind me. Told you I'm the best, I done said it with my chest, so for real nobody try me. Down in the new town, already and I say, one for the money and two for the love. We the new era, so whoever may feel they above. Live in delusion, that's an illusion, it's absent. Keep it together, don't act like you didn't know what it was. I'm on a whole nother planet, I'm about to show you. This wouldn't work if we planned it, meaning you won't understand it. We have to rings like a Saturn. This feel like splitting an atom. We got involved with the pattern, so now we up and we at them. Watch out for my evolution. Go around and start a revolution. I am more than a being, I'm an institution. If I gotta reiterate, that's where I'ma lose it. It's my world and I'm generous in that job of it. How obnoxious, she ain't got a conscience. She's okay with being a little absurd and pompous. That's because I kill it, then stick around just to haunt it. Waiting on my thank you, be grateful that I would even let you watch it. I'm in a new town, I already feel that it's size for me. I'm getting looked up down with these big friends, they already thrown by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck, put my deuce up, I will not live in apology. I wish you lose love, but truly you suck, don't make way for a prodigy. Catch your breath for a second, look at your neighbor and check him. We bout to march, so if you not get to step in, I done told you who I am, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I think just be mad because my voice is so decadent. I'm setting the precedent, no mistakes and no accident. We ignoring the standard set, cause our lowest is passionate. This alone is a classic hit. I'm a verb amongst adjectives. If the industry full of then my words is a laxative. I'm a maniac on these beats, I'm insane and it's not discreet. I'm enraged because y'all ain't see it. I'm spraying on every street and obtaining no act opinion. Who's saying we not elite? I'm over Balenciaga's, I'm changing into my cleats. It's both time. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Chicago Bears. the punter Trenton Gill now to do the honors and off we go here at Soldier Field on the return from his end zone Godwin Igwebuke and a nice job there on special teams to
inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Change the look. On first down, it's Rudolph. Got his man, it's Warren. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Now second and five. Now they'll audible to something else. A first carry for Najee Harris. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. A short one there to Fryermuth. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Only two yards and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Here we go on fourth, Rudolph. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Mission accomplished on that throw. Slant, pick up the first down. I like how he just put it on the receiver and didn't lead him on that one. Happened quickly. Defense, not much they could do. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. and run 52 yards a real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone and he'll get four there down to about the 12 yard line not a run that you're going to write home about but still a good first down run that's what an offense calls staying on schedule three to four yards on first down you're set up very well for the rest of the drive Second down and six now. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Jalen Warren, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves. Stick it in the end zone on a running play.
And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start out here with the option left. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Now a second and six. Here's Fields. Flushed out right. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. A play fake. Now fields to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, he's one of them. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They snap it to Fields, eluding the pressure right. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. two to go on second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. It's a good gain of 11. Sets them up first and goal. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. change things up Warren no signal and now they say he did not get in he is stonewalled at the one calling no gain and it's going to be second and goal six nothing our score after one Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they come up now second and goal Here we go. 
Warren again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Jalen Warren with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. To a sack on the two-point try. And as he approaches to kick it off, he might be thinking this could be a 14-0 lead with a couple of PATs as he sends this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, Parker. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Throwing on third down, Fields steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fields. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Off play action, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kamal. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Fields now to throw. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Kamal, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Bears have cut it back within a score. Quarterback loves the receivers, but sometimes his best friend is that tight end. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Because we always talk about the guys out wide and how acrobatic they are. But that tight end, great sight lines, easier throws. They become a bigger and bigger weapon as the NFL evolves. The Bears offense stay in play, and Justin Fields always a threat to run. They'll go for two here. left and he will get into the end zone to cut the deficit down to four and with a successful two-point try the QB rolling out I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough when you, he goes out he's got the option to run back yeah it really does if you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback someone to account for him because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player well, after the touchdown here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Hey. 
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Now a play fake, and it's Rudolph. Steps away. And just not enough on the throw there. Got around his feet and incomplete. Oh, uh, they'll certainly be on the tap. What's going over that one for sure? Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Here's second and ten. Here's Rudolph. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Oh, his defense makes a stand. They give up touchdowns in the first two drives, but here they say we got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They are going for it. It's Rudolph. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. A quick throw out wide. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four at the 39-yard line. Warren will try to right side. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Jet sweep. Here's Pickens with it. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense column. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Stephanie. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the Bears' 39-yard line. They'll try the air now. Here's Rudolph. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Deontay Johnson, 39 yards. And the Steelers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here we go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts, so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. At the 46 line. Play action. It's Fields. Open man is connect the tight end. Touchdown, Chicago! Cole Kamara with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The Bears often stay in play. Justin Fields always a threat to run. They'll go for two here. They'll look to throw, and he's got it. They convert for two, and that gets him even closer. Now a two-point game. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team, because hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Rudolph now to throw. Here's one deep for Pickens. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Second and 10. Back 
And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Now it's Rudolph. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting the game. Here's one deep for Pickens. And it's knocked away and incomplete. For the first half, two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. On first down, it's Fields. Rolling to his left. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. There he goes, left side. A big play on the ground there. For 36 yards. So, how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They go to Johnson again. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And they're going to speed things up here. From the gun, here's Fields. Sliding out of the pocket. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Easy, easy, easy. Right. Fields trying to throw for it. And this will be caught. As they convert here for two. And of course, on the two point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. 
Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problem's continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders get to add to the lead directly. Now Fields. He'll buy some time right. It's complete. And make him four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're here in defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. Austin elects to bring this out of the... And all deep in his own territory, he calls up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. I remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. A few moving pieces on that play, because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. If you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. And now they're in the hurry up. Second and a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now they'll change things around before the snap. A handoff for Warren. Pushing through the contact. And some room to work. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. 
In motion right here comes Johnson. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Rudolph. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, a dangerous pass there, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession here. Just cause I took it on the high lean, the money keep on popping.